out. Harry kicked out of the edge after Queen's secret conclave causing him foaming at the mouth. Queen Elizabeth II's COVID-19 diagnosis couldn't come at a more awkward time, as the UK's Prime Minister has announced that he is lifting certain restrictions, such as self-isolation for those who have tested positive for the virus. That, and there has been growing concern for the Queen after it was reported that she did meet with her son Prince Charles only two days before he tested positive for the virus, too. With that said, her diagnosis has completely changed her routine, as she has been forced to clear most of her calendar and cancel in-person royal engagements and meetings as she continues to recover at Windsor Castle. As Her Majesty is still experiencing mild cold-like symptoms she has decided not to undertake her planned virtual engagements today, but will continue with light duties, the palace said, per CNN. Many royal fans, however, can't help but wonder how the Queen's working relationship with both Charles and her grandson, Prince William, is now, given that the British royal family will have to work together more than ever before especially as the royal family deals with negative headline after negative headline. According to People, Queen Elizabeth II is in regular contact with Prince Charles and Prince William, as she's relying on them more and more to carry out her royal duties. Royal expert and historian Robert Lacey told the publication that both Charles and William discussed the Prince Andrew controversy with the Queen before he was ultimately stripped of his military titles because of the sexual assault lawsuit that was brought on by his accuser Virginia Jufri. They operate together, not as equals, because the Queen remains in charge, but William is a very active component in the way the monarchy protects itself, Lacey explained. If that weren't enough, the Queen is also thinking more about the future than ever before, and that's not just because of her COVID-19 diagnosis. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to leave the royal family, Prince Charles' cash for honours scandal, and Prince Andrew's multi-million dollar settlement has created a drip feed of negativity for the monarchy, added one palace insider. In other words, it sounds like Queen Elizabeth's COVID-19 diagnosis is the least of her problems prompting a lot of fans to wonder if Charles and William will do more than just pick up their additional royal workload in the coming months ahead. Previously, the Queen is under pressure from both the public and Parliament to strip Prince Harry and Prince Andrew of official roles as councillors of state. On Sunday the Queen tested positive for coronavirus and has been suffering with mild, cold-like symptoms but it has meant that the 95-year-old monarch's duties have been impacted as she was forced to step back in order to recover. In light of this, a new parliamentary paper has added to the pressure from the public for the Queen to strip Prince Harry of his role as Councillor of State. This role is given to five members of the royal family, the wife or husband of the monarch and the following four members who are next in line to the throne and over the age of 18. When the monarch is unable to perform their duties, such as when they are overseas or ill, the monarch's councillors of state are intended to step in. The role is presently held by Prince Charles, Prince William, Prince Andrew, and Prince Harry, as the Queen now only has four councillors of state following the death of the Duke of Edinburgh. The role was appointed to attend to four potential issues that may arise, a monarch taking the throne under the age of 18, the monarch being permanently incapacitated, the monarch being temporarily incapacitated, and the absence of the monarch from the UK.